Oden and I are headed out to uh, Sheep Meadow, just outside of Paul Smith, New York. I've been, it's, it's a late start, it's 11.39 now, we won't get there until about 12.30. Um, it's only th about 3.6 miles, I think it is. There's supposed to be a lean-to once you get to Sheep Meadow. It's a, it's a horse trail, an old truck trail, so it's not going to be very hard walking. We're going to see how well Odin does with that kind of distance, and, and if he uh, can't make it, we'll turn around and come back. Uh, it's kind of cloudy, they're calling for thunderstorms, but uh, we're going to see if we can get in and get back. Before that happens, uh, I've been watching a couple of YouTube channels this morning and, and just got about hiking and I got itchy to get out, so we're going to give this a shot. Watching uh, Crystal Weaver and her husband do their AT through hike, and then I watched uh, the last part of Rob from Backpacking Adventures um, long trail hike. So after, after seeing that, I said, you know what, I got to get out this weekend at least a little bit and uh, see what we can get done. So we'll check back in when we get there. I just realized that uh, we're currently passing through Dickinson Center, which if you've been uh, watching the news at all lately, is the home of the woman who allegedly, we're pretty sure she did it, but uh, has not been convicted yet, uh, helped the two convicts escape from Dannemora Prison, which is probably about an hour from us right now. Uh, this is her hometown. I didn't even think of that, and luckily they've the roadblocks and police and whatnot seem to have cleared out, so that's that's a plus. Okay, guys, we, we're, we're here. It is uh, 1229. We're going to head up this trail over here. Well, I don't think we're anywhere near the right spot. I don't think we started in the right spot. We might have parked further down the road than it says we're following a trail. If you can call it that. Not much of one. I don't I didn't expect it to be this way, so we're going back. We're gonna go down the road the other direction further and see if maybe we Went the wrong way, so we had to go back up this little hill. All right, we're back on the main trail. It just dead ends into that little trail that we took, which is not the trail, I don't think. There's a lot of the trees for Odin to jump over, and it's hard on him. So we're gonna go down here and go back to the car and drive up the road and see if there's a different starting point that we were supposed to start. Because this just doesn't look right. Okay, we're back at the car. We're gonna go drive down the road a bit. Maybe we came in at a different spot. The directions are kind of sketchy. It says trailhead junction from the right supposed to be 0. 0.6 miles and we get to a bridge and there was no bridge that we were getting to on that trail we were on. So we're going down this old dirt road. There wasn't any real signage here. It said look for signs for the Hayes Brook assembly area and I think that's what the sign that we pulled off the road that's what it was but it seems to me there's another area up here with better signage. This should take us to Mountain Pond down here. I think Olin's pretty tired so I'm not thinking we're gonna actually hike the thing we're probably gonna oh well, there's a gate right there I bet that's it we're not gonna hike any 3.6 miles today it's humid as a son of a gun we're just not prepared really uh, we'll go down here a ways and check it out interesting thing happened I put some DEET on and when I touched my hiking poles plastic started melting in my hands so we're gonna give this a little bit of a shot it is really really humid you know, it's pretty tired and so am I at this point so we'll give it we'll go down here a little ways and check it out okay this makes a little more sense we are at the steel gate and there's actually a trailhead marker here is the steel gate 
Deer flies or horse flies are pretty heavy. Here is the trail marker. It is 3.5 miles to Hayes Brook. Three to no, sorry, 3.5 to Sheep Meadow. Three to Hayes and three to Grass Pond. Not sure how far we're gonna get, but going back on the trail. He's running. Well, he's doing all right. So 0.6 on this. Maybe we'll go that far. Yeah, this is interesting. There's a little trailhead register. The Haysbrook Trail System. And look what's in the box. Nice. I'm hoping they're long gone from here. Now it looks like we made it to the bridge. It's according to the GPS. Odin, don't. Odin, don't. No, Odin. A little bit of a drop off there. He's not. No. He wants to get in that water real bad. We made the bridge. I'm guessing this is the bridge over Hayes Brook at point four. I'm feeling pretty good. He's wanting to get in the water, so we're going to have to get out of here. So we're going to head on. Keep on trucking. All right, we're at a fork. The directions to take, say take a left onto the horse trail. Or you can stay on that road. It's a little bit longer. A quarter mile longer, but we're going to stick to the horse trail down this way. There are some blazes, red and yellow I have seen, not very many. Um, oh, there's another T here. Huh. Well, that's got a horse on it. Oh, and this is to the left, so I'm going to take this one. Oh, maybe that's the one that's a quarter mile long. Oh, this way, buddy. Oh, I want to go down this way. Maybe I should have followed him. <laughs> he seems to, he seems to, he's good at finding trails in the woods. Well, I'm perplexed. We just came off of that right there and we came to this thing. That's the trail telling us to go back where we were. And then this says take a left. I'm beginning to wonder if we shouldn't have gone on that second left off the, uh, we're on the wrong horse trail. This was clearly marked as a horse trail where the other one didn't appear to be. This appears to be going back in a direction we just came from. But it does join up with a with old logging road like the direction said it would. So and you got logging road, that's the way they want me to go. That's the way it seems to make the most sense to me to go. But maybe I'm turned around, I don't know. Well, Odin finally decided he was going to drink some water. He drank a little bit out of some streams, but there was, hasn't been any for quite some time. And uh, he was refusing to drink the water that I brought. Um, a little bowl. But finally he did. I gave him some treats. And uh, we're still here at this intersection. Actually, it appears I've dropped the directions. So I don't know if I'm supposed to take a left here or not. So... I think we're going to turn around and go back. Um, we're 1.34 miles in from the trailhead, which is which is about as far as Holden can walk. Anyway, so he's pretty tuckered out. A little wet there because he splashed water on him. He's usually good after a little bit of a rest. So I think we'll sit here for 10-15 minutes and let him rest. I'll give him some more water. Got another. We got another jug of water, so we'll be good. I didn't think we'd make it this far, or <clears throat> oh, this far, but I didn't think we'd make it any anyway since we got that late start. He went down the wrong way. Well, he didn't go the wrong way. I did, but he really burned his. Uh, he he goes all gusto for the first you know mile or so, and then then he he doesn't realize we have to come back, so he burns himself out. Doesn't pace himself, so. He doesn't do this enough, I guess. Um, so with that little extra we walked before, I don't—I forgot what the mileage was on that. Um, I'll check later. It's 145 now, I and mean, we got plenty of time. It's just stamina. I'm—I'm I'm feeling okay. I'm a little tired. It's—it's it's humid when the sun goes behind the clouds, boy. It really makes a big difference as far as how comfortable I feel with the sun beating right down on me. It's—it's—it sucks the energy right out of you. Um, so I guess we'll rest a little while and then we'll head back out. 
back the way we came and maybe we'll pick our directions up along the way. See how close we got to the next thing. Well, it's a little before 2.30. We just made it back. It's a, it's a good thing we turned around when we did. Um, glasses are fogged up. Uh, yeah, the sky got real dark, and then uh, about five minutes after that, it started to downpour. No thunder and lightning, but uh, we're wet. So we didn't film anything, because that's basically using my iPhone at this point. I did find that I did bring my other camera. So I had, plus I, there was another camera in my bag, so I had like four cameras on me. <laughs> I did get a little footage with the Xiaomi Yi, that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, so we'll add that in here. Uh, Odin was pretty tired, so it's a good thing we turned around for that reason too. Um, he's hot right now. Let's window down for him. So we're going to head on home. I want to say thanks again to uh, Crystal Weaver and Rob from Backpacking Adventures for uh, their videos that I watched today that really inspired me to get out today. I got to try out some gear, uh, see what my pace is out in the relatively flat ground. Hopefully give me some uh, information to use when I plan on going to the Northfield Placid Trail. Alright, so uh, maybe I'll hike up here again with Odin and maybe some friends and we'll get to, we'll get to Sheep Meadow, do some camping up there. Talk to you later. One thing I want to point out guys is when you uh, See this sign off Route 30 and you make a left on here if you're coming from the Malone area. Uh, you want to go down that road and make a right. When you get to a junction and you see a sign that says equestrians and there's a place to tie horses, don't stop there. That's where we stopped the first time and we went down that trail. That is not the trail to go to. You want to make a right when you get to that junction and you'll get onto a little paved road and you'll go a short distance and on your left will be that yellow metal fence and, and that's where you want to go for uh, Cheap metal and a grass pond and there, there was something else I forget what it was. Okay. Okay guys, we're looking at my track data from my Garmin eTrex 20 and my Spot Gen 3. So this green line right here is the first trip we took where we got down the wrong path. The blue line, this light blue line, is the the right path right up until we turn it around. Now the red line is my spot Gen 3 track. For some reason it did not record the majority of my trip. Started here, went up to about halfway there, this whole path was the same thing. It was that logging road that was fairly open to the sky. Don't know why it didn't record there. Maybe the unit got flipped around in my backpack. I don't know. I tried to keep checking to see that the unit was face up so that it would get a signal. But it, for whatever reason, it didn't track until we got back here, picked up. I drove in the car over to here it didn't of course track there because it was in the car I didn't shut it off uh, it picked back up slightly down the path but this path again was all fairly open to the sky when we got up to the Osgood that first bridge that we crossed, crossed 
it reported there. After that, it was done. We did go into the woods somewhere around that area there. But as you can see, it didn't track here. Uh, I hope it was user error somehow, because if that bit of woods that we're in is too much for the Gen 3, then it's pretty much useless to me in the autotics. Um, the tree cover around here is going to be at least like that from spring right through to fall. So I'm hoping it got turned around in my backpack and I was just not noticing it. Um, other than that, I don't, I don't know what happened. So besides that, here's where we turned around. This would have been that trail that was going on to my left. So I'm guessing if we had followed this up, sheep meadow would have been maybe up in there, um, where the trail split off down here. This one actually led to grass pond, which I'm guessing is that pond there. Anyway, that's our whole trip for today. We'll head back at some other point and get to Sheep Meadow.